Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, checking out Oxygen Not Included. Uh, this is a game by Clay Entertainment, they also made Mark of the Ninja and Eats, both of which are games I really love. Eats you can't really get anymore, um, it was on Steam, but they've replaced it with Eats Munchies, which is like a worse mobile game port of the same idea, I, I don't know why. Um, but yeah, the original Eats and Mark of the Ninja, both are games I really love. They're in very different genres. Eats was like a, a puzzle sort of Rube Goldberg puzzle machine sort of game, kind of like The Incredible Machine. A little bit different. Um, and Mark of the Ninja was like, you know, a stealth game, a stealth platformer, side scroller sort of thing. This game is another genre again. This is sort of a, a space colony sim sort of thing. Um, like you have these little, little, uh, friends here who are trying to control, like, get the space colony working and survive, basically, and you have to give them orders and stuff. I haven't played this, but I've heard it's pretty cool, and I want to play something that you play with a mouse, uh, because I got this super cool mouse pad for my birthday. Check it out. Best mouse pad ever. <laughs> so let's go. <laughs> Uh, if I just hit new game here, I guess it'll start out. I've never played this before, so I don't really know what to expect. Uh... I'm guessing these are like difficulty settings. I think I'd be more comfortable starting with no sweat. Who's a destination? Oh, I see. This is like... You can go to these different places to get more difficulty. Yeah, marginal, slim, slim. Yeah, I'll start with the first one. We go. Starting asteroid Terra, promising location with a balanced variety of resources. Terra meets all the requirements for duplicate life and holds no surprises. An ideal location for a first attempt at establishing a colony. Survival chance ideal. I think this is like a random seed. Uh, this number over here. I'm, at least I'm guessing from what I can see here. I'm guessing that'll reset it. Yeah, reroll world seed. See, this is definitely a seed. <laughs> uh, let's start the game. Freezing ice formations. Oh, cool. It, it's got like sim style loading screens that just have random stuff on them. It sort of makes establishing personal boundaries. I love it. <laughs> oh, that's my favorite. I don't know if you too much oxygen removing. Ideal oxygen levels achieved. Planting space for flora, releasing wildlife, building suspense, success, space adventure awaits. Okay, I have to choose three duplicates to begin. Let me see here. Nisbet, Max, Binky. Uh, let's just start with these ones, I guess. Can I have a look at the options? I can change their name. Uh, I can re-roll to get someone different. There we go, Marie. A type? Oh, I see. I can give them different like possible jobs and stuff. Let's just go with some random, random choices for now. Uh... Yeah, that's, that's a good start. Um... I didn't s seem to be able to... I can change their name but not any of this other stuff. That's all locked in unless I randomise it. I've awoken at the target location, but colonization efforts have already hit a hitch. I was supposed to land on the planet's surface, but I've came trapped many miles underground instead. Although the conditions are not ideal, it's imperative that I establish a colony here and begin mining efforts for escape. Begin. Did we just go back through the portal? <laughs> uh, oh, it's not a portal, it's a printing pod. It's, it's actually like a, um, like a, a 3D printer that's generated these people. I guess that's why they're called duplicates. Uh, okay, they're in a breathable area, I think. Oh, this stuff is generating oxygen. Okay, that's handy. Uh, basic controls. The wazzy keys pan my view. Yeah, sure does. And the mouse wheel zooms in and out. H returns my view to the printing pod. I can speed or slow time by pressing tab in the top left corner buttons. These ones up here. There is some stuff underneath where my face is, by the way. Well, I'll move my face if we need to. But there's stuff in all four corners, so I don't really know where I'm going to put it. <laughs> uh, I'll keep working so we're going to discover my personal database. You. Oh, I see. So I can look through this, this big old database to find out about everything. Okay. 
Next message, I can use the dig tool, G, and the build menu in the top left corner of the screen to begin planning my first construction tasks. Once I've placed a few errands, my duplicates will automatically get to work without me needing to direct them individually. So I think this is kind of like the War Fortress, you basically uh, give instructions and then uh, these, these duplicates here will carry them out eventually uh, when they get around to it. If I just, uh, let's dig out and a bit over here. Okay, yeah, they've started digging. Uh, okay, so we're getting some sandstone. I'm guessing there's less air over here. Yeah, there is. Oh, but the air's sort of filtering into that area, so maybe it'll be okay? I think I have to make something called an oxygen generator, but I don't really know how to do that yet. Duplicants have limited jumping and climbing abilities. They only climb two tiles high and cannot fit into spaces shorter than two tiles, or across gaps wider than one tile. It was in mind while placing errands. Check now and replace successive like and select a duplicate and set show navigation to view all areas within their reach. Okay. Wait, what's that? What's that? Is that a friend? Burrowing around there? Or is that like a monster I have to worry about? Okay, so that's breathable, but we're gonna want... Yeah, the oxygen from over here is filtering through, I think. Environments that are extremely hot or cold affect my duplicate's internal body temperature and cause undue stress. I'm hitting the temperature overlay and hitting the thermal tolerance box allows me to view all areas where duplicates will feel discomfort. Okay, so if I press F3... Okay, yeah, the body temperature is 37 degrees, that's fine. I'm guessing if I look around, there'll be somewhere that's really hot. Yeah, it's a bit hotter over there. Hotter over there, but where we are seems to be fine, so that should be, shouldn't be a problem. Oh, I see, we have a bunch of overlays. Oxygen overlay? Oh yeah, I can see that there's a decent amount of oxygen around here, but there's more over here. Okay, um... I want to build an oxygen generator. How do I do that? Oxygen diffuser? Metal ore. Okay, so I need to find some metal ore. I don't know where that is. Uh, I think there's some over here. That's copper, isn't it? Come over here. So yeah, this is a very different type of game, but I can see how it fits Clay's style. It's very cartoony. Uh, it comes off as very silly and, and like, a not particularly serious take on the genre. Um, which I think describes most of their games. <laughs> um, yeah, let's take all of that. Can they reach that? Must be too far down. Algae. Uh, I might need to dig down in order to reach something. Get some copper. Get that. Okay, now have some oxygen? Yes. So let's put an oxygen diffuser... I don't know, uh, maybe over here? If this part's unbreathable, that might be a good spot to start putting more oxygen. Okay, and they're gonna run over there. And yeah, this part is unbreathable, but if you just hold your breath for a little bit, you should be okay. Okay, they're building it now. Does it need power? Digging for resources? Everything Coley needs to get going is found in the ground. Instructing duplicates to dig out areas means we can find food, mine resources to build infrastructure, and clear space for Coley to grow. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, super hard digging to mine Abyssalite, and the super duper hard digging skill to mine Diamond and Obsidian. Okay. Get up here where the air's breathable, come on. Okay, that thing needs power, so... Let me see, uh... I'll put a manual generator? Alright. I can do that. And then I guess run a wire... Over here? Like that? And 
And they're gonna need food. And plumbing. <laughs> um, I'm not sure how to handle plumbing. Where are we gonna put sewage? I guess we'll see. I think the buttons underneath where my face is, probably you don't need to see them. I think I can just click on them and you'll and you'll know what's happening because stuff will be happening on screen. They also all have hotkeys, so I might just use the hotkeys anyway. Oh, that's not actually quite plugged in. Uh, oh, right of wire. Uh, we need some more. Get some copper ore. connect this. Oh, it's over there. Like that. I think that's right. Now they're hungry. Can they get food? Oh, they can get back up there. I wasn't sure if they could reach that. Is there food in the ration box? Yeah, there's some food. Alright. I'll get snacking, I guess. Uh... I to tell someone to use this. I don't really know how to do that. <laughs> I suppose I should build an outhouse as well. Um. Hmm. Just dig out a little more space over here. What are you talking about? Germs? Brains? Oh, sleep time? I guess it's sleep time. I guess I took, I took too long? What is that thing? Is that a friend? I mean, it looks kind of scary, but... Oh, they eat dirt and turn it into coal. Okay, that's, that's harmless, I think. I just want to fast forward until they wake back up. I don't seem to be able to do anything while they're asleep. <laughs> okay, daytime now. Time to wake up. Time to get digging. Time for me to install the plumbing. Okay, they're running on the on the conveyor belt thing now. So now it should be generating electricity. And this thing should be powered? Yeah, I think it needs more algae to work. I think they're filling it up. bathroom now. I'm not sure what we're gonna do with the, you know, stuff from the outhouse. Um. Only requires a food to talk. Germs and disease, that sounds important. Germs such as food poisoning and slime one can cause disease in my duplicates. I can use the germ overlay to view all germ concentrations. Oh no! Insect resources building wash basins from the medicine tab by Colony Twills. It's one people constantly need to wash up. Medicine, wash basin. Okay, that needs water, but I don't think I have access to water yet. Is this thing working properly? Still carbon dioxide down there, but maybe that's because this thing's higher up? I don't really know. Hmm. 
I'm gonna need some water, so... That looks really shiny. Is that copper? There's lots of copper over there. Maybe I'll just dig out that area and just get a bunch more copper. Okay, yeah, that needs water. Uh, let's see. I think I have a way to get water yet. I need to like unlock that, but I don't know how. Search? Research station, here we go. Here we go, let's put one of these. Uh, it needs power. Put it over here? How do I harvest that? Harvest plants, Y button. Okay. Tutorial fetching water. We're building a pitcher pump from a plumbing tub over a pool of liquid. My duplicates will be able to bottle it up and manu deliver where it needs to go. Okay, so I can leave some water down there. I think I want a research station first, maybe? I'm not really sure. I have no idea if that's gonna work. <laughs> Okay, they're still shooting down there, so maybe it'll work? I don't know. I don't know what to expect. Can I move this thing down? Is that an option? Is deconstructing a building move it? Want that water. I need to put the pitcher pump further down so it's closer to where the water is. Low oxygen? Yeah, that makes sense. Just give us a second. Okay, that doesn't seem to reach any further than that, so I need to build it further down. I can do that. Should work, right? Oh, hang on power. Do I have power now? I'm gonna gonna power it. Okay, someone's going there with that? Okay. You have power now? Are you working? This game is, uh, confusing. <laughs> okay, that should eventually become more breathable because there's all this oxygen going on, right? 
You're disinfecting it, right? Yeah. Very bad germs. Mostly on our people. I guess that makes sense. They can't really wash up. Make a little bit of a stairway here, just so we can get back up. I think that's about right. There we go. I should be able to get through that way. And we should have water. And this thing should work now. food. Microbe masher. Okay, so this thing needs power. Uh, put it over here. And I guess wire it up to the power? There we go. It's downtime right now, so they won't do anything for a little while. Having a little chat and using the bathroom and stuff. How do I empty the outhouse? Oh, it's a clean toilet. I'm not sure what to do with that polluted dirt. Once I've... Hmm. Doesn't seem like any of those things help me. <laughs> okay, so we got water, we got oxygen generation happening, I think. Log entry? Cycles are enough used to print a new duplicate. Huh. Okay, so we're about to produce food using this thing. Do I need to like, let the carbon dioxide out somehow? I don't really understand how this works. Oh, that's not plugged in, hang on. There we go. We should be able to research some new things. What have we here? Plumbing. Liquid bridge, liquid pipe, liquid pump, liquid vent. Mm, that sounds useful. They call it is rocketry. Power regulation. Oh, batteries and stuff. Yeah, comp compost sounds good. Uh, let's start with basic farming. Sounds like a good idea. Once this thing's plugged in, anyway. Power down? Yeah. So now we've got to bring some dirt to it and we can use it. There's insufficient oxygen generation. I don't really know what to do about that. Yeah, this thing should be able to make food. Uh, yeah, mush bars, let's go. Let's make some mush bars. All the mush bars. I assume I need to be able to make this other stuff in order to make more interesting food. Okay, and then we should have enough food. Uh, we might need another oxygen diffuser, because we've got insufficient generation according to this. That was a few more plants. Okay.
Yeah, I'll make another oxygen diffuser over here. And I'll just wire it up. Hopefully that'll be enough. We'll see. We'll see how we go. What does that say? Insufficient resources. Need some more water. Okay, well we're gonna bring some from the pitcher pump here. So don't worry. We need to get some more water somewhere else. What's that? Chlorine? Oh dear. Uh, don't go too far that way. <laughs> No power. Did I not run the power to this thing? There we go, no, it's working. I think it's doing its job now, so that should give us food. Uh... We've got insufficient oxygen generation. I'm not sure what to do about that. Oh, hello. Uh, choose a blueprint? Oh, okay. Okay, okay, we can add a new person. Or we can get a hatchling egg. I think we already have a hatch, so we probably don't need another one. Uh, another helper would be good. Uh, Joshua? Joshua, I choose you. Let's go. Try a new friend. He's like on main. Skill points available. I don't know how to use that. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, let's say hard digging, construction, farming. What do I want you to do? Uh, improved carrying does sound good. Not your doctoring because you're squeamish. Okay. Uh, let's make you better at carrying things around. That's sort of what I seem to be focusing on at the moment. Duplicate morale. Rooms, food, decor, and recreation all have an effect on duplicate morale. Good experiences improve the morale, while poor experiences lower it. Duplicate morale is below their expectations or become stressed. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright, cool. Okay, I'm making another oxygen diffuser. It needs power. Yeah, they probably should install some beds. Uh, let's see. Where's a good spot for beds? Maybe up? I think I can build ladders, right? Yeah. Can I reach that? I can't tell if they can reach that or not. Like they can jump up two spaces to go into one of these, so maybe they can reach that? Or maybe not. Enough power? Okay. I can read on one of these generators. Maybe a battery? Oh, it's food time. No work for now. Everyone's just go do stuff. <laughs> it's insufficient oxygen, but... Hmm, I don't know.
How are our germs doing? I mean, not well. Especially over there. Uh, can I tell it to disinfect this spot? They have to automatically disinfect. I don't know how to make it do it. Hmm. Oh, we're all sleeping again. Put some beds over here. And they wake up. Oh, there's Joshua, behind the power icon. I don't refrigerate food. Is there an option for that? I just need to unlock something. These ladders aren't working, so I'm just going to deconstruct those. New research? Okay, we should have basic farming now, so I can make compost. And... Can I refrigerate my food yet, or do I need something else for that? Research. I'm not seeing anything like a fridge. <laughs> hmm. I should go for the other orange thing, but I don't know what the orange means. That's gonna be a water cooler, which doesn't seem very helpful. That's a refrigerator, it's in agriculture, so I want to go that way. Okay. Found it! <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, we got compost now, so let's put it over here. somewhere else. I'm gonna put cops over here. Aren't you? No. There we go. And then we can put the algae thing here. Oh, I forgot to slow it down. It's still super fast. Where that'll go <laughs> when it's ready. Okay, is this battery being charged up? It looks like it. Cool. All right. Uh, how are we with germs? Yeah, I would like. An is there a button to disinfect? 
Yes, there is. Let's disinfect this thing. Will it let me do that? There we go. Okay. Uh, everything else looks fine. Just that one. That one box that's hanging out there that I'm worried about. A bunch of stuff over here we've got a Westall waiting on, but we'll get there eventually. What are you doing? You just too hungry? You just gotta wait for this? Oh, you're actually making them because you gotta pull that lever. Okay, so that's the welfare lever. <laughs> There's other stuff to do though, you can do other things. Yeah, strong refrigerated environments. Yeah. And yeah, my food is unrefrigerated, but I'm working on that. I'm still researching how to do that. Oh, research complete. Uh, what do we have now? Meal preparation. Okay, that doesn't help me refrigerate my food. That's not what I was looking for, but it's a start. Egg cracker? Huh. Oh, we need a supercomputer? Oh, alright, I can I can build a supercomputer. No, I can't build a supercomputer. Do I need a supercomputer to build what I want? I do. Okay, how do I make one of those? <laughs> Advanced research. Uh, this one? Supercomputer, there it is. So I need to switch to here. You can actually build these things, or. <laughs> mm. It's too busy, I think. I think they'll go faster if I do that, because they can climb up two spaces and they won't be hopping each step, but maybe not. We'll see. any beds yet. You won't you won't have beds for downtime. Oh. <laughs> oh gosh. I haven't even come over here and done the compost yet. The outhouse is nearly full. Oh we're we putting more germs over here. Oh, there's germs inside. The food is poisoned. I see. Not sure I can do much about that. I dismiss these digs. Pencil dig. The key for that? Doesn't seem to be. Okay, they're sleeping again. this battery gonna last? Uh, it's running short. <laughs> Even with the few things it's trying to power at the moment, that's not enough. It's gonna need to like power, run some, run to some more things. Okay, yeah, we can go back to regular speed now. Anyone going over here yet? Okay, there's disinfecting. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dig over here. Right. 
Oh, I just want to keep doing other things. All right. <laughs> Oh, hello. Are you building one of these algae terrar terrariums? I think they are. That's exciting. Of course you have a saw back. You haven't built the beds yet. <laughs> I keep telling you. <laughs> oh, jeez. We probably need more batteries. This one doesn't have that much power in it. 10 kilojoules. Where are you going, Josh? Oh, he's living right over there. Fair enough. Is anyone ever going to dig out this area? <laughs> oh my goodness. Loving water over there as well. And whatever you just did there. Oh, alg algae for this thing to use. That's right. These things need algae. visits remaining. <laughs> Someone's got to come dig this out or we're going to run out of room in this outhouse. <laughs> oh, jeez. Are you doing it? Are you doing it? Oh, you're washing your hands. You doing it now? Yes, okay. Okay, we're good. Oh. Oh, research complete? Oh, we can make water coolers. Okay, they did. The, there was more to, more to do over here. Where, where are you going? <laughs> this game is weird. <laughs> doing that. Maybe we need to tell this thing to stop doing work because we have enough food. I don't know. Switch it back to zero and then make him do something else. But I think, how much food do we have? Contents. Uh... I mean, there's a bunch of germs in there, but apart from the germs, it's probably fine. Okay, we've got this thing now. Waiting delivery. That should make some more oxygen. Once it gets enough stuff delivered. beds as well, which is nice. Colony achievement earned. I have at least one toilet in the colony and a bed for every duplicant. That's exactly what I have, thank you. <laughs> the toilet's got one more use in it. <laughs> and it'll be all used up. <laughs> Are you gonna... 
You gonna go finish mining it out? Yes, yes, do it. Let's do this. Let's build some compost patch. Or, or stop. Uh, okay. <laughs> Maybe they're getting some sandstone. enough oxygen now, right? We got this thing, we got these things. Mm. Okay, okay, yeah, this is happening. happening. <laughs> okay, so that can now be empty, right? You can empty out the polluted dirt and put it over here. understanding how this works. Okay, I guess you can keep making these if you want. Are cute. They just eat berries and stuff. They're not, they're not bad or anything. They are friends. Oh, no one emptied the toilet, so now no one's gonna be able to use it. Oh, hang on. Having duplicate skills? Oh, oh, someone's got a skill point. Hey, Max. Um, tinkering. Oh, okay. You got a morale bonus from that. Let's do it. There you go. I have a morale bonus. Uh, it says you want a hat as well. Is there... there you go, for a tinkering hat. Uh... Did, did that actually give him a hat? I can't, I can't see a hat. Oh, there we go. Now they've got a hat. And everyone looks pretty grumpy as they're heading for bed. Because <laughs> the bathroom was out of order and no one no one actually cleaned it. So they couldn't use it. So they go, oh no. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, they're actually sleeping while holding their breath. So I don't think there's enough oxygen down here yet. We have to work on that. battery over here, just like that. And we can store about twice as much energy. Research complete. We can build a supercomputer now. We sure can. Let's go. Oh, this thing's pretty kind of big. Uh, let me see. Made a mess. Oh, where's the mess? Oh, no. Let's uh, mop that up. Oh, no.
Oh no, it's oh no, it's going in the water supply. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, this is terrible! <laughs> oh no, the water's, water's full of gems now. I think the gems are going down because we stopped the pollution from coming. I think. I think that's how it works. Okay, they're still they're finishing cleaning up the bathroom now. go over here in the compostables, right? Yeah, yeah, that's what happened. Requires flipping? I guess it'll do it automatically? I don't know. Yeah, they're doing it automatically. Okay. Wait, are these? Oh no, no there's all these bottles of, of polluted water everywhere. What do I do with that? <laughs> Alright, gotta build a supercomputer so I can continue studying. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna put this. I need to dig out a bit more space, I think. Uh... I put up like a ladder going uh, this sort of a way. Mm, why don't we do that? Hmm. Italy trying to get ladders and stuff in straight lines. Okay, let's put a room down here. I don't really know what to do with all these little bottles of polluted water. Hmm. Oh, we can mop that up as well. Just regular water, but we probably don't want it there. Okay, then we want to go to the refrigerator, which is this one. Okay. Oh, these guys take forever to do anything. They just keep running away. I'm gonna, I'm gonna build one. I'm working on it. There's like a bottle emptier. Hmm. I just empty the bottles out like into the world. So I actually need somewhere to put the put the stuff. Um. available. Who has a skill point? Marie? What do you want to learn, Marie? Improve construction? Oh, let's do it.
Okay. Again. Does this like need emptying at some point, or I don't really know. Oh, hello. Oh, blueprint. Here comes a new thing. Let's see what we've got. Uh, falls asleep here. Oh, narcolepsy. Oh, uncultured. Increased decoma or bones cannot do decorating errands. Increased athletics. No, so no researching errands. Like you, Hassan. Welcome aboard. And some skill points. There we go. What's that hat mean? Oh, hard digging. Oh, that's granite. Okay, I see. So I don't think I've taught anyone hard digging. If it makes sense to set this to only go in one direction. Uh, probably, right? Because they go over here, they make a mess, and they clean up on the way out. I'm not sure you have to empty this thing or something, but it looks like like this bar on the right here is filling up with with polluted water. So I'm not super clear on how that works. I need another one of these uh, manual generators in order to attribute increase. Oh, cool. Oh, uh, they didn't actually build the water cooler. <laughs> so they can just hang around near the water cooler that doesn't exist. <laughs> the hypothetical water cooler. Hey, are you okay? What's going on with you? We build a second toilet over there. Uh, plumbing. Oh yeah, there's more people than there are beds now. I guess I should work on that. <laughs> but now you can sleep on the floor. Oh, are you okay? What happened to you? Tired. Is that all? Time for work. Oh, 
Oh, the batteries have a little, like, uh, half full layout icon on the side there. I didn't notice. Why did the music just suddenly change? What's happening? the water out of this thing or does it not work that way? I don't know. breathe down there. Um, yeah, I probably just need to generate more power. Uh, let's see. Occupied space. About there. any oxygen down there yet because I'm still digging out the floor so I don't know where to put the oxygen generators and stuff. <sighs> Wait, these need emptying? I gotta find some more things I'm gonna do with less polluted water. <laughs> I, I don't know if there's like a purifier or something I can unlock. No, oh, there's this thing. Research table. from polluted water using sand which is polluted dirt which I can then compost. Oh yeah that part is what I want. Okay. Oh gosh it's been over an hour. <laughs> okay so this is uh oxygen not included right? That's what the game's called I'm pretty sure. Yes. Um it's a really interesting game. Um I'm playing on the easier mode and I think I'm glad of that because like, if the stuff I've been messing up here actually ruined me and killed all my little little duplicates here, that would be really sad and really annoying. Um, but the way it's being played right now, I'm having a lot of fun. And the, the art style is really nice, and I'm figuring out things as we go. I think the tutorial maybe could have been a bit more... Um, a bit more direct about what you're supposed to do, I guess? Because I've been figuring out a decent amount of stuff by myself, rather than following the game's instructions because the instructions don't really tell you that much. Um, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I am having a lot of fun with this and I'm probably going to keep having fun with this. It's a cool game. I like it. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye! <laughs> um, so yeah, like, play this if you like this kind of game, I guess. Because it looks like fun to me, and I'm having a good time. And I did really like Clay at the table. They make some nice stuff. Um, although I, I like, really wish that Eats was still on, on Steam and stuff, and Eats Munchies hadn't basically replaced it. I can still install the original Eats, um, 
because I have it in my library, but it doesn't have a store page anymore and you can't get to it if it's not already in your library, as far as I can tell. This is annoying. Oh yeah, there's still some uh, germ water down there, isn't there? I think it's gradually, like, getting less germy. Gradually. <laughs> Oh yeah, we need another bed as well. I'm working on it. <laughs> okay, so yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye!